Okay. We're off to get Olivia. Set her up at the wake. And then there's not much left. Gotta be near the end. Tell me about Remy Duval. Remy Duval's dead. <laughs> Here we are. <clears throat> Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Okay. Have a listen. Not for nothing, Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Huh. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line... I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you wow. actually reviewed uh. the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker de Gamo. I read that part. <laughs> Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. <laughs> Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. Wow. Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. What a, what a plan. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military grade LSD and get to Olivia. Nice, Don't this let sounds fun. Don't goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Follow the driveway up to the left. So all I gotta do is drug people and sneak up to Olivia and kill her. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga, that's their job. Had me out there, fucking asked me where I got my car, where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. 
<laughs> Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for poor Mr. Remy. He can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face yeah. of God's earth. Poor Mr. Remy. Yeah, poor Remy. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. <laughs> Toast those bottles. Has one. Nah, stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. No, it ain't gonna take effect up, immediately. This way? Oh no, this way. Whoops. So, do they have a suspect? Now a one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. Here we go. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. Anyone else? But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. I don't see any more I what can I'll do. What I'll miss most ah, about uh -huh. Remy Duvall is that he gave this city. No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a no dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. <laughs> Well, I served as many as I could find. Serve for bodyguards. Crowd as they've convinced themselves that being wealthy means that they have value. Look at me. I'm rich as Midas and probably the least essential person on this block. The key to my happiness is knowing We find that Sean who killed Remy. Get over here with that bottle, ma'am. Here we go. Please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. He's one of the good ones. Thank you. Yes, he was a good man. The fuck did this guy go? I've never actually seen a nephew either. Hey, I had some money. Bring that bottle over here. Maybe. Here we go. Spill it. What do you know? Well. Let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Hey, let them burn their bras. Just makes it easier to see what they're working with. What oh, the fuck? Okay. 
Out in the middle of the night, draped in bed sheets, chanting. I mean, every last goddamn dime is gone. Yeah, Jesus. What am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain why I tried, brother. Because right now, my can the only thing the Southern Union has to All right. Take a smoke break. <laughs> Lincoln Clay, the man of many faces who no one ever fucking recognizes. Then again, he did get recognized when he impersonated the fighter, so... Nah, look how fucked up he is. Big old man, dingo nigga. Ah. Okay. Do I really have to walk this fucking slow? New guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Now what? Follow Olivia. On the moon, I could give a shit. Because they're all going to be white. Fuck them. No For doubt. Truth. Damn straight. Giant ass kitchen. Big ass fucking... I, think I wonder if she lives here. Or this is like a resort. Those folks. Something bad. This might be a, a place for these kind of ceremonies. I'm standing here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I oh my god, I look. Ah, it's all connected. You see? What the fuck? They're coming for us. They're coming for you, Barbara. Okay, then. <laughs> See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> <laughs> I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them, they've all come down with some <laughs> kind of affliction. <laughs> what? Oh. Cutting his own arm I'm open. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Let someone get him out of here. He's just here. Get down! <coughs> no fucking way! I'm gonna die. I'm dead. There was no... What was I supposed to do? There's no weapons. I have no weapons. And I'm finding a full room of guys with fucking automatic weapons. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is stupid. I have no guns. I can't fucking shoot these people. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. 
Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. Miss Lydia, get down! Get that bastard! I'm gonna clobber you! Someone from the U.S. Magano! Well, I'm dead again. from here before whatever has happened oh, shit. downstairs gets worse. There's a gun here all along. And I'm still dead. Wow. Still dead. Even behind cover. Dead. changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. going on I'm dead <laughs> you tell me what was going on I was pressing square the entire time trying to pick up the fucking assault rifle and he was stammering in place <laughs> maybe I'll reload maybe I'll pick up the gun maybe I'll reload maybe I'll pick up the gun oh and then he dies Signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs. Fucking shit. I, I never thought. You get shot. Precisely. So you're First an idiot. The time I saw Lucho, he looked so handsome. Dash. He, he wore the finest suit. There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. There ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Maybe not. But it certainly was Where's 
Mr. Garmo. Garmo. Uh, 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 Garmo. Uh, uh, they have me out in a building. Down by the wall. Uh, 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 thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. She might die anyway. She might bleed out. Find a Garmo now. It says he's close by. Oh, they certainly get to load up here. Y'all hear that? Owned. Okay. What the fuck? Nah. I ain't asking you a second time, boy. Leave a sign over that land. Oh, huh? shit. I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Huh? I'm not. I'm not signing a damn thing. Damn! <laughs> what the fuck? Look what just happened! What a place to fucking resume! Wow, that was fair! Kidding? Wow. Oh, I can't open it. <laughs> yes! The guy who wasn't even inside kills me and then he teleports inside. Yes. Oh, this game's fucking stupid.